Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be talking about SCP-1364, the ultra-vulnerable mammal. Now, don't let the name fool you, this little guy is actually classified as safe. But don't underestimate its vulnerability, because this SCP has some pretty unique properties that make it quite the interesting specimen. Let's dive in and take a closer look at SCP-1364. Currently, there is no way to ensure the complete safety of Secure Contain Protect 1364. Efforts are underway to develop methods to reduce the harm caused to Secure Contain Protect 1364. Secure Contain Protect 1364 should be kept in two interconnected chambers measuring 10 meters by 10 meters by 5 meters, with a padded impact resistant polyester lining of 40 centimeters on all inner surfaces. These chambers must be free of light and external sound. They should also be kept empty to keep secure contain protect 1364 calm and healthy. Any damage or signs of pain experienced by secure contain protect 1364 should be addressed promptly, using all available resources to minimize the harm. SCP-1364, known as the ultra-vulnerable mammal, exhibits extremely poor endurance and mobility, which are both dependent on its current state. When unexposed to a significant amount of stimulus, SCP-1364's physical form remains relatively static. However, with prolonged exposure, the creature grows increasingly vulnerable to even the most negligible of stimuli. It seems to respond normally to a stimulus on the first exposure, but repeated stimuli have exponentially more harmful effects. Although SCP-1364 has a digestive system, it does not seem to require sustenance. In fact, testing reveals that the creature fares better without it, as the process of eating, digesting, and defecating results in significant bodily stress. Despite the presence of a digestive system, the cause of SCP-1364's extreme vulnerability has not yet been discovered, as the body shows no specific physical anomalies. When left alone, SCP-1364 appears to heal at a standard rate. The creature was discovered after repeated reports of its disappearing and reappearing beneath floors and inside walls at Zoo's nursery prior to containment. Amnestics were administered to witnesses after recovery. SCP-1364, also known as the ultra-vulnerable mammal, is kept in two separate cells, one at a constant temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and the other at 30 degrees Celsius. Personnel are strictly forbidden from interacting with SCP-1364, except for manipulating a projector to create calming images and playing calming nature sounds on a loop. The containment chamber is regularly filtered for contaminants. During an experiment conducted by psych biologist Dr. Sanders, SCP-1364 appeared to be distressed and emitted a low wail when Dr. Sanders attempted to pick it up. Its skin started to burn upon contact with its tears, and it began to bleed from the ears. The experiment was immediately aborted, and SCP-1364 was left to its own devices in the containment chamber. <laughs> 